I want to read from the early chapters of Genesis, the first account of human sin, because it talks about this intellectual haughtiness, this intellectual pride that makes us think that our level of intelligence can allow us to comprehend everything that God comprehends. Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 through 17 puts it this way. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will surely die. On down into chapter 3, then it concludes, For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. That's Satan's temptation. And it was the temptation in Genesis 3. It's the same temptation today. Satan continues to tempt us to have haughty eyes and think that we can comprehend the mysteries of the universe and that God's somehow withholding knowledge from us. As a result, we are prone to haughtiness, to intellectual haughtiness. Satan is still, to this day, trying to convince us, don't you get it? God is not giving you the answers. He's withholding from you, and you need to demand that he gives you all knowledge in the universe as though we could handle it. But God knows our knowledge is limited. In fact, we have a word when we talk about the knowledge of God, we say he's omniscient. He knows all things. He is unlimited in his knowledge. And even though humans have amazing intellectual capacity, our knowledge is limited. I want to read to you what A.W. Tozer, one of my favorite authors, has to say about this. 